me start by uh, commending the staff of RITA for welcoming me and uh, for working with me uh, over the past year to achieve uh, uh, the result that we have achieved so far. Uh, it has been um, an incredible year uh, because um, as soon as we started, basically, I wanted to immediately uh, lead IITA to develop uh, new partnerships. And uh, this has been uh, my focus. And uh, I am proud of the fact that um, over the past year, uh, we have reached out and developed new partnership with innovative financing that can help IITA uh, fulfill its missions. And uh, without the support of the staff, without the work that the staff uh, uh, have been doing, I cannot claim um, any credit for it. So hats off to the IIT staff for the work that they are doing, for the dedication, for the commitment. It's been a wonderful journey so far. We have a strategic framework for the next six years, between now and 2030. And what is our uh, vision there? Our vision is really to ensure that the African uh, farming community have available the type of technologies and uh, practices that they need to be able to transform the food system. And IITA is in the mission of providing the solutions for the realization of this vision. We have reinstituted the IITA Program Advisory Committee. So we don't have, if you want um, uh, somebody, an instrument, if you want to, get, to help us steer our direction. Now we have the Program Advisory Committee uh, composed of eminent scientists, leaders who are helping to tell us if we are in the right direction or the wrong direction. And this is really something that I'm proud of, that I think we need to use uh, as an instrument for guiding us going forward. The IITA, as a research institution, work on a, a spectrum of things, okay? Uh, upstream, some are in the laboratories working to advance the research, some in the middle working with the intermediaries and others working downstream uh, for the delivery of technologies. So for example, the TAT. The TAT is, is um, the technology for African Agri Transformation, which is funded by the African Development Bank, aims to deliver new technologies to the end users. And I'm proud of the fact that through this program, IIT has already reached out to 12 million uh, farmers over the past three years, together with partners. This is a major achievement. Uh, same thing, we have a World Bank uh, funded project, you know, uh, uh, called ICRA, the Accelerated Impact of CGI Research on Climate, and already over million, millions of farmers are receiving uh, climate information services in order for them to adapt to the impact of climate change uh, when, for the farming systems. These are type of work that we do that's having an impact on the ground. And I'm not mentioning uh, the localized work that's happening in every country where we are located, where we're having an impact. So, uh, we have, you know, doing that, but we need to scale up. It's not enough. We need to really scale up. And that's the mission that also I assign myself, is to make sure that the technologies that we're developing can actually be scaled up. So one of the work that I'm doing is to work with the government, the counterpart, to ensure that some of the technologies that we are developing can actually be scaled up. And um, we're doing that uh, in many countries. 
you know, personally engaged Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Liberia, you know, the, the, the Congo, the DRC, you know, many other countries uh, where we are present, where we can actually uh, make a, a significant difference. RITA is an institute that is uh, quite uh, well decentralized. Um, we have um, staff uh, all over Africa, localized in five hubs, over 20 stations, some of even located, you know, certainly elsewhere. And uh, everyone uh, needs to be treated uh, um, equally, basically. So we, it's quite important that uh, we ensure that we have a system in place that uh, ensure fairness and transparency, you know, across all staff. That's what point number one. Uh, the last uh, survey that I saw in the CGI indicated that we actually have 2,500 people. IIT has the highest number of staff of any CGI center, you know, in the world. So we are a, a huge institution and uh, we need to make sure that all the staff, you know, are quite um, happy, that they are treated quite well. And I want to return this one to the staff to say thank you. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for all the effort you are putting in. We, as a management team, we want to make sure that uh, we responsibly look after your welfare to ensure that uh, you do your work properly, that at the end of the year, at the end of the month, at the end of the day, that you get the reward needed for the effort. Now, having said that, I recognize that uh, there are some challenges, okay, uh, in a number of countries, particularly Nigeria, where we are located, where you have um, a severe, uh, fast uh, depreciation of the currency that is impacting on the lives of people, on their income. And it's not just uh, you know Nigeria. I think uh, you know the case of Zambia, Malawi, and Ghana, for example, are other countries that have been quite impacted significantly. So we, as an institution, what we to, would do is to address that to ensure that uh, uh, the staff who are earning in the local currencies actually are adequately. Are compensated and we are we are responding by providing what we, we call palliative here which I think it's a, a good uh, approach and um, in the case of Nigeria when we had uh, the dramatic deposition in February March uh, we went out of our uh, way to create a special you know uh, this, uh, compensation and provide um, staff with an additional um, uh, palliative to compensate staff. So these are the kind of approach we are taking. And I, I recognize uh, it's not always easy. People will like to get more uh, and we'll do our best to respond. But as an institution, we also need to be able to balance things across the different categories of staff. These are some of the challenges we are facing. But we recognize that uh, uh, there are challenges and we continue working on it. We are responsive. I want you to know that. And I want to say that uh, IIT is not the only organization doing that, facing this. Other organizations in the country, Nigeria in particular, are also facing the same thing and they are making the adjustment needed. As we mark the end of my first year as Director General of IITA, I'm filled with immense gratitude. Gratitude for your unwavering commitment to the mission of IITA. Thanks to the work that you are doing, as this Director General, I'm able to fulfill you know, the mission assigned to me in order to position IITA in a way that uh, our different uh, stakeholders can see IITA as the institution that can provide a solution for food system transformation in Africa. I want to thank you. I want to thank each one of you, whatever you are doing, whether you are a field worker, whether you work in the cafeteria, whether 
you are a scientist, whether you are a postdoc, whether you work as a communication person or a driver, whatever you are contributing to IITA, you are essential worker contributing to the mission and vision of IITA. I want to thank you and I want your support, continued you know, support, to be able to fulfill the mandate that has been assigned to IITA and the mission assigned to me to be able to deliver on this program. So thank you so much. I had the opportunity to meet with Dr. Simeon and uh, from our discussion I saw that he's somebody with uh, a vision and he's carrying everybody along and he's also keen about food security in Africa and very keen about youth integration. About the DG, I've never met him in person and I wish to meet him because I've heard a lot of good things about him. I heard he's very supportive, friendly, approachable and he also listens to people. About Dr. Simeon Aoi, the DG of IITA, I've been opportune to meet him on two occasions, one at his office and the other by the walkway. So he called me and gave me a fist bump, which was really interesting for me. And one thing I noticed about him is he wants to be approachable. He's also keen on staff development and keen on partnership. I'm working in a system that is under his watch. So I know he's someone that loves to build capacity. He seems uh, a rather gentleman. I love that about his personality and he's uh, a very approachable person. <music>